factory. Uh, we've had some complaints about our hatches not opening and closing properly. Uh, some are just not seated all the way down, and some are breaking these handles that you see here. Um, one of the things that I'm discovering is that we're not actually seating the hatches all the way down um, on the boat before we engage these levers. It's happening for the factory, and I'm seeing complaints and hearing complaints from dealers as well. So just to be sure we're all on the same page, let's do this really quick. So this hatch, good example, is if I open it up and if I just close it simply, these levers will not engage. They will not lock down. And even though they're slightly canted so they would draw it down if you put a lot of force on it, it's not going to pull this down enough to actually close that hatch and seat it down. As a matter of fact, you will break these dogs on the bottom of these legs um, as opposed to it pulling the entire hatch down. So what you want to make sure you're doing, um, and let me please chat with your accounts about this, is that when they close this, it's a lot like a rubber push-on hatch cover. You want to go around the edges, push it all the way down to make sure it's seated 100%. of this uh, hatch rim. Since we're now the rubber is on the outside of this, instead of in the bottom of this tray, it's engaging in the side of this ledge right here. So it's only partially down at this point until you push it down. That's what's creating that watertight seal that we've been asking for. And then it's engaged. The same is true on the ground hatch. Okay? Same story. If it's unlocked and you just throw it down, it's not seated. As a matter of fact, you can even see this one's not closed. Even if I barely push the front down, it's really not seated down yet until I walk around it, press that seal, engage that seal all the way around, and then it's locked. Good to go? Good to go. Thank you, Tom.